here's a quick one when it comes to biodigester that's the simple on-site biodegradable waste biodigester construction you are supposed to be looking out for three key things i mean i've said it over and over again the inlet pipe which is coming from the house how many are they the number of pipes that's the number of toilet seats in the house then the outlet pipe for you which is where the, your wastewater will be going and then where exactly is that wastewater going and at what level is it going to drop if even you have a drainage system and you are piping your shape pipe that's your 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 black water into it you should know the level at which it will get to that drainage system if you are doing it for a soak away you should also have an understanding of where the level that's the depth of the soak away as well and if you are doing it for a soak hole pit you should also have that one in mind in terms of how many feet you are supposed to go so like inlet pipes and obviously the the, the the outlook of the compound the final outlook of the compound and what the homeowner is looking for will help you determine the level in which your digester should go from my experience most homeowners most high-end clients are looking for digesters that are buried they want the digester to be hidden they only want the top slab to show they don't want it protruding and showing some ugly places and spoiling the, the final outlook of the compound so if you do know what they are looking for some want it two inches to show that the top slab and then they want to tile around it or they want to do something nice with it then you should make sure that you know that your outlet to another level and then from there you can pick it from and know that where, where you are going is where it must go because if you have a soak away or a soak pit and it's not deep enough and you are burying a biodigester the wastewater will come back into the digester through the leche pipe because the level that you are going to get will not be enough for the water to disappear or seep into the earth surface so it's key your soak hole pit goes deeper and by going deeper are you meeting the the water table or is the water table less if you are hitting the water table you know there's water also going to seep from the ground and all these are some of the permutations that you need to know and understand when you want to construct a biodigester it's key because then if the inlet pipe is at an angle and there are two or three of them can, can they all come to that level and then you can fall in there nicely and then you know that you are in safe hands when you are doing the biodigester and that's one thing that i wanted to talk to you about how you need what you need to know when you are constructing a biodigester